Hi guys, my name is Fluffy, and we're back with another uh, video. And this one's going to be a bit different. I'm going to show you my oldest trades that I've ever done on this, um, well, throughout life. And uh, as you can see, we have some very old trades here that go back as far as 2014, 2013. Now, I want to tell you, keep in mind, that my stepbrother has done like the oldest oldest trades and then the trades in 2018 I have done but let's just get straight to it I've covered this up just so you guys can't see what it is because this is the best trade that's ever been done on this channel and three two one there you go guys that is the best trade I have ever done on this channel Valkyrie Helm for 10k in smalls and I'm pretty sure that's projected too well maybe it is but like yeah as you can see I don't know why my stepbrother decided to do this but it's obviously not that good. Well, not that good. It's terrible. So uh, that was kind of bad. So yeah, Valk for 10k. This is the first trade. I kid you not. The first trade done in 2013. I can't go past anywhere else with MNZ, whatever that guy's name is. Valk for garbage. Let's go to the next trade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is Jack O'Bandit for 12k in garbage. Uh, yeah, wow. Damn. I also wanted to show you some guys some uh, screenshots I've done. So how he got this Valkyrie Helm, I'm going to put it up right here. Bam. So he bought Valkyrie Helm in whatever the date says right there. He bought it a really long time ago, and he bought it for 30,000 tickets. 30,000 tickets. Now, it's, no, I know it says Robux, but the thing is, it was tickets back then, and Robux does not like tickets anymore, so they just swapped it. So it says Robux now, but I kid you not, he bought this for 30,000 tickets. I remember seeing this, but I never took a good screenshot. If I do, I have it on my phone. But he also bought Jack O'Ban. I'm going to put another screenshot up right here. Right here. Bam. He bought Jack O'Ban for 10 tickets in this day. Really long time ago. It's like 2011. So, yeah, like I said... He's uh, bought some really old limits. I'm also going to show some other screenshots of some other things that he's purchased. So yeah, they're right here. As you can see, these he purchased these. These are all for basically ticks, if not Robux from other people. If they were from Robux, they were probably for ticks. So yeah. All right, let's go to the next trade that we did on that he did. So these trades up until like this trade right here are trades that he did. He did not complete that many trades. Okay, this was really good because that inflated a lot more than this even though it's better demand this is just more expensive because of the bot hoard so that's pretty good okay um if you did not see in the screenshot he bought shaggy for like 2k robux and this was a complete fail trade with the rainbow shaggy I, now keep in mind this stuff was really cheap back then so this was probably like 2k back then and this was like something 2k so but yeah pretty bad unfortunately so yeah let's go to the next one that he did pretty sure that's kind of inflated but I mean, I don't know. It kind of seems equal, but I'm not sure what which what was better. Uh, pretty good small for this. Remember, keep in mind, Sword Pack was worth like 300 Robux back then, and Breakfast Top Hat was probably also 300 Robux. So yeah. Okay, pretty nice. Uh, base Void Thrasher is worth more than Profit Vision itself, and also that's a low serial. Well, not like an incredibly low serial to flex, but like serial 83, not bad. Okay, that was really good, but keep in mind, Chrome Glasses was probably worth Skull and Crossbones back then in 2014, but looking at it now, this was a really good trade that he did. Chrome Glasses are really expensive. I mean, this would be good. This this is the awkward locator that I showed you that he purchased, but uh, Neon was valued, but now it's not, so it's kind of a loss right now, but if it gets valued again, it's going to be a win yet again, so... 14k for blue bubble trouble so that was that was really good now the thing is i'm pretty sure he sold this bubble trouble for like 6,000 robux i can't find the thing i remember seeing him he did sell this so unfortunately i didn't really have it when i basically like we were both on the account but i was really not playing that much and then he like one day he was like you know what i'm not gonna be on anymore you can just play around on it if you want so i was like sure and the last trade he did uh, was he gave this sword an axe of undergoing for the wing headphones that I got scammed out of in like 2018 and some small so it's a pretty much a win but this started raising so I'm not sure if that's going to be too much of a win in the future but we'll see now this is the first trade I ever did going into 2018 on this account steampunk bunny for basically better demand I mean honestly I probably would have just kept the steampunk bunny even though this has better demand it's just I don't know this probably could sell higher so 
Korblox Keeper for good demand and an overpay. Now keep in mind, Korblox Keeper, I'm pretty sure it was like 1k back then. Green Star was probably like 800. This was probably like 400. So yeah, again, this stuff was really cheap back then. I already have a cardboard, but looking back at it, not that good because cardboard sells better than blue chrome. So, meh. And then basically a fail trade on blue chrome. Now blue chrome was probably 3k, and again this was this was probably like 1.5k, and this was like I don't know 800 or something. So eh, a bit of a fail here. Um, this person is still my friends list. Like I did this, I did a couple of trades with the person, and then they ended up getting terminated. I still have this person on my friends list. I told, I think I like told them that I sent them a trade. You know what? Actually, let me sh let me let me find them. Aya, yeah. what what is their name? Aya, yeah. no. Okay, well it's not popping up for some reason. I don't know why. I did a trade with. I told them that I sent them a trade. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna look for it now. But looking back at this, this was really good because this face obviously did better than the starry sight. I mean, who doesn't like heart faces? And yet another win. Oh, actually, no, that's projected. So that's like one. That's like one point two k. So that's like two point. I mean, it's still a win even if this is projected or not. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Pretty sure that's projected, but I think Cole is worth more than Shaggy. But I keep in mind this was probably equal when I did this. This guy right here, Umq Flemix, this is my alt that I played on while my stepbrother was playing on this account mostly. But I unfortunately lost access to it. But like when I was on this account, I just bought these noobs because I didn't know what they were. I didn't know what limiteds were back then. So I was like, I'll just transfer this for Turkey Tie. He still has that Turkey. My alt still has that Turkey Tie to this day. Um, kind of a fail because this is worth 1k and this did better because this is a better demand. So yeah, kind of rip there. Um, I'm pretty sure we trade did a trade. Yeah, we did a trade back on this, so it's pretty much equal because that's not that's like one k. Uh, I mean this is better demand, but this is just worth more wraps. So I, I'm not sure. I I mean I'd probably I don't know if I'd accept. Probably maybe I don't know. That's projected, but I don't see that going down past three k because of the massive horde on it of the bots. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I remember doing this back in 2018. This was an upgrade because I played Murder Mystery 2 a lot back then, and I really wanted this sword because this is a MM2 sword. I was like, oh my gosh, Eternal is an actual limited, and I upgraded. And looking back, it's still a win, so that was pretty nice. Uh, new for this, I'm pretty sure this is actually selling for 1.3k now, so I'm not sure what to consider this a win or not because Blue, Blue Steel Bathy Spear is kind of also selling a bit high. I don't know. I remember getting this because this is also a Murder Mystery 2 item, but looking at it back now, so it's like one. So this alone is worth more than candy cane. So yeah, kind of bad. Yet kind of another bad trade because that dragon face is obviously better than both of those, honestly. And then with the ad, but still. Uh, okay, kind of bad because uh, this is worth more than the fedora. So unfortunately, I failed trade here. This is when I got got scammed. And uh, I ended up, I don't know, I just wanted eggs for some reason back then because I was becoming a rare enthusiast and I started buying some limiteds like the Tetronimos. But like, yeah, that, I don't know why. I was like, I overpaid for this egg. It was so stupid. I shouldn't have never had done that. So whatever. Uh, okay, wow, that was really good. I don't know how I managed to do that. This was like 400 and this was like 800. So, okay, nice. That was that was pretty good. Okay, wow. Um. That egg had to be projected if I managed to pull something off like this. Okay, that was that was actually real. Oh, I got my purple crazy glasses back. It's with the same guy, but like, okay, wow, that was damn. Okay, I I remember wearing. I don't remember how I why or how I did this trade, but I remember wearing this pink shaggy and the ice cold phones a lot back then. Um, basically equal. I'm pretty sure that bow tie is a bit expensive, so. I don't remember doing this. I I kind of I don't, but I do. I did wear that bow tie a lot though. Uh, ba basically an overpay on black iron. It's still per. It's still okay. So yeah. Oh, I remember buying these headphones. Oh, it's a five hundred copy item. I didn't even know that. Uh, looking back at it though, I really wanted comrade, but look, I did. I do remember overpaying back then, but like now I had the things I've raised. Like this is pretty much almost worth that. So it's just kind of a bad overpay for it. Did we trade back? Yeah, we traded back. I ended up giving this uh, Mike this uh, well accessorized for this. This these were both like one point. This these were both like eight hundred, and we ended up trading back. I guess that was better because uh, well accessorized did better. 
I remember this. I bought Katana Crown, and it ended up getting projected to like forty thousand. I I gave this was like three thousand. This was like two thousand, and this was like two thousand. I ended up giving that. I scored myself a counterfeit Domino Crown, so that was that was really nice. But looking back at it, Crimson Wrath has rose a lot. Comrade rose like two k. This rose like one k. This rose a lot. I don't know why. This was like three k. Now it's selling, now it's on like seven point eight k, and I think my serial one sixty nine is deleted. So unfortunate. Okay, I know this is projected, and it's projected, but it's still lost because this itself is probably would get valued and probably like easily one one v three this. So yeah, this was kind of bad. But I remember this was eight hundred. I think I bought this too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I bought that limited because I wanted one. Okay, this was really good because Viridian's basically almost worth counterfeit. I remember doing this. This is a bot right here. Recursion Spy was a bot, and the owner just happened to be online. So. Imagine having a stupid bot in 2020 and having your trade just be a fail. He wanted to trade back. I was like, nah, uh And this Viridian did almost as good as Counterfeit. It's still uh, working its way. It's almost there and with a with a basically 30 or whatever value this is at. Amphilion is also a bot. And looking back at this, this was also really good. So stupid bot. Remember, imagine ripping off a bot. It's so good. I feel so good ripping off bots. Um, an over, I really wanted Summer Glider, and it was kind of an overpay, so I kind of goofed up here. Uh, like a 10k, well, okay, actually, I'm pretty sure that's going to 11k. I mean, look at that wrap. Yo, I got four of them right now. Okay, that's awesome. But, yeah, kind of a fail trade. I really remember, wanted these, com I really wanted these commandos, guys. If you, com guys, commandos are awesome. I agree with me. Commandos are probably, like, one of the best things in this game. A commando is a really good starter item. If you guys have Robux and you can afford a commando, I would highly suggest buying it because these items are really worth it, guys. Really worth it. We're going to start going a bit through quick through these trades. Uh, pretty good because that's Sword Rose. I remember this was a loss when I did this, but Black Valk has actually been doing pretty well. I don't like Black Valk, though I do remember wearing this a lot. I wanted that hoverboard and some other smalls, so I don't know. Maybe it is a win now. I honestly would have kept the Christmas baseball. Uh, I guess an upgrade win if none of these are projected. Yeah, I guess an up uh, a downgrade win, a downgrade win. Yeah. Oh, that was really good because that sign is worth three k. Ethereal Hearts is also a bond. Looking back to this small win, so I remember it, I remember Paintball rose so much, but then Black Valk started competing. Like Black Valk did better than Paintball, but then Paintball started doing good again. So I remember trading off my Paintball. A, a really bad loss because these two are projected. This was terrible. Why did I do? I really wanted eggs and oh my gosh, that was terrible. Soda, that is good. Let's see that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Crown of Warlords has barely moved from where it was. It was 11k wrap and now it's 15k. This is such a terrible item, guys. Crown of Warlords is so bad. Paintball rose so much, but freaking Crown of Warlords was like five, 4k or something. I, I'm pretty sure I've done some of these trades in another video, but I'm just going to review some of them. I remember this was a donation. Uh, projected, basically. I guess that was equal. Kind of a loss, because... Uh, yeah, basically, kind of a loss, unfortunately. Uh, that's like 2k, 2k, that's like 3k, 4k for and a downgrade for iHeartMom. That was not bad. Oh, this was the first trade I did with Wolf. Basically an upgrade because I wanted those hoverboards and this exclamation mark. So that wasn't that. I mean, it was still an overpay. Wait, I think I remember this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no way. Um, I gave these two and I got this stuff. I remember reviewing this on my trade video, I think. And he even added because I think that Super Super Happy Face was like really cheap and so was Black Iron Horns. And they've done so much better than Crown of Warlords. Oh my gosh. And this was with Wolf. This is probably the biggest win, looking back at, I've ever probably done on this in this video. So, oh my gosh. That's 7k Fedora, damn. With a small ad, so weird. An upgrade, and that is valued, so that was pretty cool. Equal, that's pretty good. Equal. Oh, I remember, do I still have this uh, Metal Cthulhu minion, but those Frozen Horns have done so well. I'm going to try to get those Frozen Horns, because I actually like them. That's with my alt. Oh, I remember doing this. I, I did I did a video called uh, so Sacrifice on Zombie Shit Let's Get. I think I still have it, but looking back at it, it's quite an overpay for it now. It, it was I was overpaying like 2k when I did this. This was a really good win. 
that legit's starting to do well again, so I guess that's like like a 1k win. That's good, because I, I don't think TV is worth like 1.6k. That's projected, and that's a serial 7, and I'm pretty sure a bot now has it, so that's kind of stupid. That was good. That was bad. <laughs> um, equal, well, actually, no, that, that blinking egg doesn't sell for 1k. It actually sells that much, so yeah, kind of a loss here. That's a win. That's a win. I don't think Chicago. I think Chicago got LPP'd, but that. But this is. I really wanted Chicago. That's why I did it. But yeah, kind of, kind of a loss there. I remember doing this. I really wanted that Dom money, but yeah, a win. Pretty much a win because these. I Automal Sword did well. That was a win because Evil Henchman is definitely not worth one point one k. Oh, this was a projected uh, trade I did on Angry Cyclops, and this is having a hard time going down. That was pretty good. Win, and we're just going to review a couple more trades. Uh, that was a win. I think this was projected when I did this. I remember I still have my Serial 120 Alchemist, though I had to give up my Serial 20 Mage, and I think I bought that Mage. Like, equal. I unfortunately gave up that Serial 7. It's also an overpay, but I really wanted Ronald McNinja back then. I still ha I still want one. I got another Serial now, but rip that Serial 7. Upgrade into space here. Again, this was really cheap. This was like 1k back then when I did this trade. So, But if, if space gets valued, then it's a win. Oh my gosh, I remember doing this. This was, oh my lord this was such a good win no if only i kept that periostron bro i remember getting an overpay on that periostron though i think but uh yeah i guess it was a win we're just gonna do a couple more trades well i mean just showing you a couple more trades i'm pretty sure i traded back but i should have just kept otterhead but this guy was willing to do a trade back because this was worth more than otterhead i mean it was a loaded man but i really wanted dual axe um that bowler kind of sells for a bit high that was pretty good. Oh, I remember doing this for Steampunk Samurai. I still have this cereal, but looking back at it, not a good trade, unfortunately, because legit did so well. Uh, a win. A win. Yeah, this was the trade that I did. Not, 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 oh, not that good. I remember getting this and it got projected right after, and I ended up finally getting that back after a while. That was a win. Well, that's projected, so I'm not sure if that's a win. No, because that is that was that was selling really high. Uh, that's basically a win. That's a loss. I remember doing this. The collector's item's projected. I should have kept collector's item. I still have 461 of Serpent's Servant, though. But, yeah, looking at it now, I should have just kept collector's item. Uh, basically a win an upgrade. That was the... I got legit for the projected. That was... That was also projected. Oh my gosh, collector's item for Rocket Man. I still have that Rocket Man, but oh my gosh, collector's item, bro. That was really good. Okay, just a few more trades. Pretty sure that was projected. And last trade, another trade with Wolf. Uh, that was pretty good, but that's projected though. So yeah, well, I hope you guys like these old trades that I did. And I will see you guys later. I will hopefully try to complete some more trades. Bye, guys.